Welcome everyone to part one of my NSR restoration series. This is a 1993 Honda NSR 250R. It is 31,000 kilometers with no rebuild history, registration on hold since 2004, and a non-running engine. We found this bike through a mutual contact who was reminiscing about the old days when he used to ride his little 250 Honda. He couldn't remember exactly what it was, but he mentioned that it was a two-stroke. That comment alone set my imagination wild, and I am so glad we pursued him for more information. So first things first, we're going to start by tearing down the bodywork of the NSR. Just have a look at what it looks like underneath and maybe have a closer inspection on the bodywork itself. And then we'll go from there. So. First things first are the fairings. These were held in with a couple of 10mm bolts along with what I think are Deezus fasteners with Phillips heads on them. I don't know what you call them, but they're, they sort of clip in place. They're quite interesting. The other side was just your standard threaded screws. Um, another note is the fairing on that side comes apart in two pieces, whereas that one is a single piece. So I suspect that is just for ease of messing with, I guess, most of the equipment. Well, the clutch is definitely on this side. So I assume that's just for a, a small tidbit that perhaps Honda the bike was designed for motorsport use. Therefore, they did things like that, which is kind of cool. It's a cool little quirk. I originally thought, oh, maybe there are different bolts on the other side because of a crash damage, but no, that looks like it's genuine bolts on the other side too. So that's cool enough. The bike had been involved in an incident about 10 years back. And around this time, life also got in the way. So this little machine was put away for about nine years before finally, the owner's brother-in-law decided to try get the bike firing for the first time in almost a decade. Now do you remember how it was? Fast forward to now, and the little two-stroke has a new garage to call its home. We were pretty lucky that the bike is more or less complete, and although the engine won't start now, it is a good sign that it did fire just over a year well, ago. We'll take off the airbox and just Quack. blast some start your bastard down it and see what happens. Obviously, because of the engine, the first thing we're going to do is pull off all the bodywork, give it a decent look around before going through the basics to see if the engine is getting air, fuel, and spark. So, our immediate thing is that we're going to fix fuel tank leak, we're going to have to fix probably place the spark plugs, um, test the carbs, they should be working, but make sure they actually are. That's a move. Hey Tiger, you know how you do those really cool carbon fiber HRC air boxes? Sponsor us! <laughs> Please! Cool, so in the meantime, I went to check out the spark plugs. They are uh, finger tight, which is good. And we'll just check that out. Can you chuck me the tool, wherever it is? That works. What? Use the round head. Oh, so I'm losing the. Mm. This is way too big. No, it's not. It's the exact right size because I used it. Nope. Yes, it is. I'm telling you now, the spark plug is smaller. No, no, no the spark plug tool. <laughs> what like the f what kind of drugs are you on? <laughs> so it's got fuel going through it, but it is probably not sparking, would be what that implies. The other thing to check to make sure the airbox is not blocked in some manner. It shouldn't be, but never mind. Alright, so airbox, we're just going to remove, so when we say removing the top, yes. it's just all these bolts here, removing the literal cover. Inside here will be the, or should be the, um, the air filter. <laughs> will be is a very confidence, <laughs> high given, confidence thing, so what I've discovered thus far. Given, given how loosely everything was on, done on that bike so far, I, I'm not going to... I'm going with should be an air filter. Alright, moment of truth. You reckon filter? I reckon filter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Okay, so there's supposed to be a filter in here. Okay. No. This this unit here, so this holds the filter in place. They usually have like spikes. This one's just got like flat ridges that kind of help hold them in place. And then you put this over the top and then you bolt yes. the airbox in. Uh, on the plus side here, we know the bike's getting fuel. We know the bike's getting air, which means ignition is our problem. Yeah. Which is battery and or spark plugs. Yeah. Probably. Could also be the yeah. ignition system, but that's likely. So yeah, that probably concludes this today's... episode of uh, leaky old chip boxes. Yeah, leaky old chip boxes. And Tiger, <laughs> if you're listening to us or watching this video, we have an NSR 
<laughs> it's in dire need of repair. But you know, if you want to give us like a mean as discount for like all the parts. Sponsor us! <laughs> Thanks guys for watching! See you next episode!